Hey YouTube, it's Tyler the Antenna Man. Today I'm going to set up and review this Ping Bing Ding Amplified Outdoor TV Antenna that claims 150 mile range. Before I get into the review, if you're seeing me for the first time, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've been over the air antenna enthusiast since I was five years old and I'm constantly posting new videos relative to TV antennas and cord cutting. So if you're seeing me for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button. This antenna runs about $50 on Amazon, comes with a built-in preamp, rotor, and control box to connect two TV sets, which makes it look like a great bang for buck. If you found this antenna, chances are you're considering cutting the cord and simply typed in the keywords Outdoor HD Antenna on Amazon, and the model came right up. This is not the way you should be searching for a decent TV antenna because there's no such thing as an HD antenna. And most antenna companies just throw in the keywords HD to confuse people into thinking that they're getting a special HD antenna. Antennas are essentially pieces of metal cut to specific lengths for TV frequencies, usually VHF and UHF. And it's important to note the difference because a small flat antenna like this does not have a VHF element and will not reliably pick up a TV station that broadcasts on the RF channels 2 through 13. To find out what channels your local TV stations are broadcasting on, go to antennaweb.org, type in your address, and look for the RF channel number. The virtual channel is a channel that the station identifies as, so in my market, NBC 28 WBRE. But the RF channel is a channel that they broadcast on. I also want to make it clear that there's no such thing as a 150 mile antenna. TV signals tend to fade about 70 to 80 miles from the broadcast tower due to the curvature of the earth. In some situations, you can get TV stations about 100 miles away during great atmospheric conditions if you have a great antenna set up mounted very high, but I can guarantee you it's not going to look like this. The whole HD digital antenna and 150 mile range are just keywords that a lot of antenna companies throw into the titles just to confuse people into thinking that they're buying a super duper HD digital antenna with 150 mile range when in reality they are probably getting a piece of junk. Getting back to this antenna, the design of it is not the worst. It does have a single VHF element for high VHF stations and then some UHF elements here, but the build quality is incredibly poor. It does not look like it's going to last that long if you put it outside. I'm also not a fan of this very thin coaxial connector that just kind of is going to move around in the wind and just it is not good at all, as you can see. Putting the antenna together isn't too hard. First, unfold the VHF elements on the antenna. Then grab the long UHF boom and snap each of the UHF elements into place. Despite snapping into place, the elements are very flimsy, which means they may snap off at some point. Next, you'll want to slide the boom into the insert on the end of the antenna and screw that part in place. Next, flap open the reflectors, place the rotator on the insert, Flip it over and then screw that part in. Connect the cable from the rotator to the antenna and it's now fully assembled. Now connect one part of the long coaxial cable to the bottom of the rotator and then the other end to the control box. Finally, plug the control box in, connect it to your TV set and you're good to go. I'm now going to test out this antenna in the same location I've tested out various other outdoor TV antennas on my YouTube channel. The TV stations are about 45 miles away, both on the VHF and UHF band. Here's a list of the stations along with their RF channels and their signal strengths on the last two antennas I tested out on my YouTube channel. On the left side, you'll see the type of diffraction on the TV station. One edge means single edge diffraction or one ridge between me and the transmitter weakening the signal. Two edge means two edge diffraction or two ridges weakening the signal between me and the transmitter. LOS means line of sight with virtually no obstructions in the way. You can also see the results of various other outdoor antenna models by checking out my other videos. 
The signal strength on WNEP, which broadcasts on UHF channel 50, was about the same, maybe a tiny bit lower than the larger WineGuard antenna and higher than that cheap omnidirectional antenna. The signal strength on WYOU, which broadcasts on VHF channel 13, was significantly lower with this antenna compared to the WineGuard antenna. There is also significant breakup on the picture. The same holds true for WBRE, which broadcasts on VHF channel 11. The signal was significantly lower with this antenna compared to the WineGuard model and showed significant breakup. The signal strength on Fox 56, which broadcasts on UHF channel 22, was a little bit lower with this antenna compared to the WineGuard, higher on this antenna compared to the omnidirectional antenna, but most omnidirectional antennas really don't work well with weaker signals. I was not able to get Fox 29's low power repeater station with this antenna. I did try rotating a bit to see if I could lock in something, but was not able to get anything. The signal on NJTV's repeater station was lower on this antenna compared to the wine guard, showing signs of breakup at times. There is a reason why I've said the following in many of my YouTube videos. This model, it's junk. Junk. This piece of junk. I call this antenna model junk, not mainly for the reason that it didn't do the best job with weaker stations. If that's the case, the antenna may work if you live in a stronger signal area. I call this antenna junk because it's known to fail after a few months. I previously reviewed the on model from Walmart last year, which is virtually the same antenna. Dozens of people commented on the video and confirmed exactly what I noticed. The rotator and preamp usually go within a few months. For most of you, the rotator not working isn't that much of a big deal after all. You can just go outside and point it towards your major ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox affiliates. But the major problem is when the preamp fails. When the built-in preamp here goes, you lose all reception altogether. It's very common for people who have this antenna model to have decent reception for a few months, and then all of a sudden they get no reception. I even had one guy tell me he purchased three of these models over the course of three years until he realized, oh, this model's junk. Maybe I should just purchase one decent model instead of five of these junk models. I strongly advise against purchasing this antenna unless you are a gambler and feel lucky. I have had a few people comment on the previous video of mine featuring this antenna, the same antenna branded by On for Walmart, saying that they have had this antenna for a few years and there's no problem with it and it works great. I'm just advising all of you, it's really not built to last. The plastic is gonna wear off over time. There is a lot of opportunity for water to get inside the antenna and ruin the internal preamp and rotator. If you're considering cutting the cord, I highly recommend doing it right the first time. Don't buy a cheap antenna that you know you may have to replace in six months. Instead, buy a decent antenna from a reputable antenna company, such as Channel Master, WineGuard, RCA, Antennas Direct, familiar companies that you know the name of. A good antenna is not going to be made by a company known as One by One or Ping Ding Bing. I have several other outdoor antenna reviews on my YouTube channel that you're free to check out and use as a guide. If you can't decide which antenna you think works best for your area, after all, there are a lot of factors that really affect what antenna works best for you. I do offer custom antenna recommendations on my website at antennamanpa.com. There I go through your unique reception situation, take a look at the frequencies, how far away they are, what the reception is like, and then give you a custom recommendation based on your unique reception situation. Antennas are not a one-size-fits-all model, and investing in a custom antenna recommendation from me can save you a decent amount of money and time not purchasing and setting up the wrong antenna, such as this model. Thanks again for watching my YouTube channel. If there's one thing you get out of this video, let it be that this antenna is junk and do not buy it. In fact, this is the exact model I've been featuring on many of my videos with the running joke where I tell people not to buy this antenna, but they buy it anyway. It reminds me of telling a five-year-old that the stove is hot, don't touch the hot stove, and they touch the hot stove anyway. Don't be a small child touching a hot stove. Avoid this antenna. If you're on Facebook, like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. 
If you're not on Facebook and would still like to receive updates on when I post new videos, feel free to sign up to the email list. I attached a link in the description of this video. As always, thanks for watching my channel and have an awesome day.